Family Violence, Research Methodology, Assessment and Theories, Chapter 2. This is a narrated version of this PowerPoint presentation. Studying Family Violence. Many fields are involved in the study of family violence, including criminology, social work, sociology, psychology, public health. Advocates, value centered groups with political agenda, feminism has played a role, and problems with divergent groups and opposing views. Types of research in family violence sociological, investigation through survey, social work, investigate through clinical samples, criminological, investigate through large data banks of crime statistics and through forensic samples, psychological and psychiatric, investigate through small clinical samples and some large surveys, public, mental, public health and mental, medical, investigate through epidemiological studies and prevalence and incidence statistics, neuroscience and genetics, investigate through laboratory studies, Legal research, investigate through reviews of family violence laws and academic literature to determine what legal changes are needed. Other types of research in family violence, cross-cultural global inquiry, studying racial and ethnic minorities, immigrants, individuals living in rural areas, disabled people, those assigned to military duty and individuals from countries around the world. Biobehavioral bio research, potential combining of the medical and psychological fields to study. Interdisciplinary science, a greater collaboration between researchers and practitioners, agencies and practitioners, and researchers from different acad academic disciplines. Federal government, investigation of family violence through surveillance systems, including monitoring and tracking, and data collection from large population samples, increased funding of research projects, and expanded collaboration. Theor theoretical explanations of family violence. A theory is an integrated set of ideas that explain a set of observations. There are two approaches, macro theory, which identify the broad factors that make families prone to violence, and micro theory, identify factors that explain violence on the individual level. Macro theory explanations, macro theory areas of study, cultural factors, social structural factors, structural characteristics of the family, inadequacies of deterrence, situational impetus, and evolutionary theory, macro theory variables, approval of violence and corporal punishment, patriarchy, socialization, feminist theories, stress producing elements, unequal opportunity, poverty, deterrence theory, and punishment. Micro theory explanations, micro theory areas of study, learning theories, individual differences theory, systems theory and interactional theories, correlates and single factor variables, and multidimensional theories. Macro theory variables include modeling, classical conditioning, operant conditioning, avoidance conditioning, trauma theory, revictimization, psychopathology, trait differences, attachment needs and anger, poverty, and drug use. Early methodology methodologies in family violence research. Early investigations were weak methodolo methodologically. Shortcomings included lack of understanding and ethical principles, inadequate methods of obtaining data, underdeveloped theory, imprecise definitions and methods of measurement, faulty sampling, failures to use optimal comparison groups, over-reliance on descriptive and cross-sectional investigations, use of univariate rather than multivariate methods, failure to replicate studies or integrate findings, insufficient adjustment for cultural and ethnic differences. Current methodologies in family violent research, advanced statistical techniques, structural equation modeling, and multivariate and univariate designs. Issues still include lack of random assignment, lack of theoretical foundation, lack of clear definition, definitions and constant disagreements, divergent samples of research participants, lack of comparison groups, difficult conducting longitudinal studies, and a lack of diversity awareness. Measurements in family violence. Sources of data include official reports, self-reports, victimization and perpetration surveys, informant, informant reports, direct observations. Scales include conflict tactic scale, revised conflict tactic scale, and parent-child scales. Issues with current measurements growing recognition of psychological abuse, need for multiple measurements, lack of cultural competence in assessment, 
need to estimate rates of family violence, researcher training, or over-reliance on univariate design, use of case histories and qualitative studies, and ethical issues. Practice, policy, and prevention issues. Research issues, family violence scholars could improve their contributions to the field by keeping abreast of emerging ethical and legal issues and applying them to work, finding ways to collaborate with family violence practitioners, participating in interdisciplinary research, making a concerted effort to disseminate research findings to practitioners, policymakers, and the general public, framing findings to avoid polarization of opposing groups. Practice issues. The work of practitioners has received heightened scrutiny. Advanced training is key. Some areas needing close monitoring include clinical assessment, vicarious, secondary, traumatization burnout, insufficient training, evidence-based training, cultural competence and sensitivity, cultural competence and evidence-based counseling. Advocacy issues. Advocates have a responsibility to understand scientific findings as they work to create change. Policy implication. Researchers have a responsibility to make their findings easily understandable to policymakers. Policy can contribute to the progress in the field of family violence. This concludes this narrated version of this PowerPoint presentation.